What is going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be downloading and installing Cinebench. It's one of my favorite softwares out there. I use it all the time to stress test, diagnose PCs. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Let's get into it. Cinebench is a software that's developed by Maxon and is widely used to assess different hardware components such as your CPU and check its performance, especially in things like rendering and gaming optimizations. In order to download Cinebench, you pretty much have two options. You can either go on Maxon's website and download it directly from there, or you can save yourself the trouble and just go to your Microsoft store and search for Cinebench. You'll see here the first app is the Cinebench one. Go ahead and click get. And as an added benefit, it's free. So no harm in downloading it. All right, perfect. So Cinebench just finished installing. Go ahead, click open, and let's get started with this. First things first, software license agreement. Go ahead and click accept. And now you're in the main screen. This is where you can really play with it, have fun, and there's so many different options. Right now, I'm currently running a Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is an amazing gaming chip, but let's see how it performs in Cinebench. So up here, you'll see two different options. You'll see CPU multi-core and CPU single core. One of the things that I like to do is first click on file and click advanced benchmarks. This gives you a couple of different options where you can either test throttling for performance or you can test the stability. So I like to do a 30 minute stability test, generally speaking, for when I'm testing out computers. If the customer says it could be a CPU problem or I'm thinking it's a CPU problem, if you run a 30 minute stability test, you'll have a good indication whether your CPU is faulty or not. So just for the first thing I wanna do is check the CPU single core speed. After you click start, you're gonna see the image start rendering itself and you're gonna see little squares that start pixelating. While you're running this test, a cool thing that I like to do is pop open an HW monitor app and just check out the package, the temps. And if you guys wanna learn more about this app, please check out some of our other videos where we showcase how to download and install and use this app. All right, awesome. So the Cinebench test just completed and we did get a ranking here. We got a point score of 1772. In case you're wondering how that bench is up against other processors, just go to this website, Nano Review. They have a great selection of different processors. Uh, in the search bar, you can press Control F and search for the CPU. You can see that uh, another person here got 1775. So three point difference, not bad, but uh, I was pretty surprised on how Poorly, the 7800X3D performs in single core speed compared to some of the other processors out there. But um, nevertheless, I mean, it's still a great processor, still one of the best bang for your buck CPUs for gaming. Next, I wanna go ahead and try a CPU multi-core test. This one's gonna go a bit faster than the single core one. Uh, so just go ahead and click start. And let's see the performance of the multi-core. You can just see it ripping through the image so much faster than the other one. I believe the other test took about 10 minutes to complete, so this one shouldn't take any more than 20, 30 seconds, depending on your CPU. Awesome, so the test just completed, and one of the good things is the temperatures were really great. Under full load, it only hit 82.3 degrees, so um, that's, that's pretty good. We got a score of 17,466. Let's go ahead and see how that pairs up in the multi-score. So you can see here, they range between about, yeah, 18,000, 17,000. Uh, that's a pretty average score that we got. So this is a great way to check your CPU, see how it's performing against other different CPUs out there. I absolutely love this app. I use it all the time for my repairs, all the time customers bring it in. It's a great tool to check performance, check stability. I use it all the time and I can't recommend it more. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and until next video, peace.